Hi there. Welcome to my home classroom. My name is Ms. Bill and I am a fifth grade teacher at Arbor Heights Elementary. I want to give a shout out to all the fifth graders there and let you all know I really miss you and I hope that lots of great reading is going on with you in your homes during this homeschooling time. I love to read. I have books in every room in the house and I'm often reading two or three or four books at a time. I don't know if you're like that, um, but that's just how I, how I read. Um, I live here with a cat named Tippy. You may see her in one of my future lessons this week. She's pretty shy, so she doesn't show up too often. And I'm just really excited to be here with you today, so let's get started. Before we begin today's lesson, you need a few materials. So please make sure you have out an IDR book for that portion of the lesson. You need your student response book, and no worries if you don't have it, because I'll also be showing the text on the screen that we'll be looking at today. And you need a turn and talk partner. Now at school, you would have an assigned partner. At home, it can be someone that's watching the video with you. It could be a stuffed animal. It could be a pet of yours, or you can just reflect in your own head. That's what I'm gonna do. So today in this lesson, you will learn what a review is, you will hear, read, and discuss a couple reviews, and you will reflect and give reasons for your opinion. If you participated in last week's Making Meaning Lessons, you heard and discussed a story called Mrs. Pewell from the book, Hey World, Here I Am by Jean Little. And in the story, Kate the narrator tells about a woman that runs a corner store named Mrs. Buell. I want you to pause for a moment and think about what you remember about the story. All right, as you may remember that Kate goes into the corner store and as she goes in, she trips and scrapes her knee. Mrs. Buell comes around from behind the counter and she scoops Kate up, she bandages up her knee and she even surprises Kate by smiling at her. Kate was very surprised by this because normally Mrs. Buell was very grouchy and many kids were afraid of her. You may also remember from last week that you wrote a summary of the story. Remember, a summary is where you tell about the bigger important parts of what you just read. Today, for our read aloud, I'm gonna read you a review about the story, Mrs. Buell. A review is a piece of writing that gives an opinion about a story, it could be a book, it could be a movie, it could be a work of art or even a performance. And in the review, it contains two parts, a summary, like you wrote last week, but in addition, it also has the reviewer's opinion. If you have your student response book, you can go ahead and turn to page 84 or you can follow along with the text that I will put on the screen. Please listen carefully and closely as I read aloud the review of Mrs. Buell. In the story, Mrs. Buell by Jean Little, a girl named Kate tells about Mrs. Buell, a grouchy woman who owns a store in Kate's neighborhood. One day, Kate trips and falls in the store and Mrs. Buell picks her up and puts a Band-Aid on her knee. Kate is surprised to find out that Mrs. Buell has a nice side. She doesn't think about Mrs. Buell much after that until she goes into the store one day and discovers that Mrs. Buell has died. Kate learns that the old woman had a daughter and a whole other life that Kate knew nothing about. Kate realizes that she never tried to get to know Mrs. Buell. She also realizes that nothing was safe in her life. Even the everyday things that she takes for granted can suddenly disappear. I would recommend this story because it made me think about my own life and how I sometimes overlook people. In the story, Kate doesn't pay much attention to Mrs. Buell and she is sorry about that when Mrs. Buell dies. That made me think about how I need to pay more attention to people in my life and show them that I care about them. 
Now I'm going to ask you some questions about the review that you just listened to. So today for our discussion, our prompt is, the reason I think this is. My first question for you is, what part of the review summarizes the story? Turn and talk. You're correct if you said the first paragraph, because in the first paragraph, the reviewer retells the bigger important parts of the story. The second question I have for you is which part of the review gives the reviewer's opinion? Turn and talk or reflect in your own head. Yes, you're correct if you said the second paragraph, because in the second paragraph, the reviewer says, I would recommend this story because. My next question for you is, why might you want to read a review of a story or a book? Turn and talk or reflect in your own head. You might have thought or said, that you might want to read a review to find out what the book's about. You might also want to find out if the reviewer liked it, so as whether you might want to read it. You might also have said you wanted to find out if the reviewer didn't like it, and then you wouldn't want to read it. Great. Now for our independent practice today, you're going to read another review of a book. If you're using your student response book, it's on page 85. Please turn there now. If not, the next slide on the screen is going to show the review. I want you to either read this uh, review of this book by yourself or with your partner or read it to your stuffed animal or read it silently in your head. All right, please begin reading to your partner or to yourself. Go ahead and pause the screen if you need more time to continue reading the review. Now that you have finished reading the review, I have some questions for you. The first question is, what is the name of the book being reviewed? Think for a moment in your head. Yes, the name of the book is a picture book of Jesse Owens. Second question for you. What did you learn about the book from the review? Go ahead and pause while you turn and talk or reflect in your own head. Great. You may have said that when Jesse was a little boy, he was very sickly, but he became an athlete and grew up to become a track and field star. He even went so far as to win four gold medals in the Berlin Olympics. After he participated in the Olympics, he went on to give speeches and write books about issues facing people in the black community. Third question, what part of the review expresses the reviewer's opinion? That's right, the last paragraph. In the last paragraph, the reviewer recommends the book, and one of the reasons that he states that he really liked the book was because Jesse proved that Black people and members of other minorities are not inferior. Let's recap today's lesson. So today we learned that it's important for readers to make opinions about what they read and communicate those opinions to others. In the next couple of weeks, you're gonna to learn to expand your summaries 
into reviews expressing your own thoughts and opinions. Now we've reached the part of reading time that might be your favorite part. I know it's the favorite part of many students in my class. Independent daily reading, what we call IDR. So today as you're reading your independent book, I want you to be thinking about the following things. Remember to ask yourself these questions. What is happening in my book? Do I understand what I'm reading? Do I know what most of the words mean? And is the book interesting and fun? Today, I'm starting a new book. The book's called The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise. I didn't read a review of it, but a teacher librarian friend of mine recommended it to me. So I have a personal recommendation. This story is by Dan Gemeinhart, and he's a former elementary librarian. And I've read several of his other books, and I love his writing because he tells great adventure stories. I'm really looking forward to hearing what's gonna happen in this book today. So let's get started reading everyone and have a great day.